Good morning and welcome to the show. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. You're not going to wipe the smile off my face. <laughs> What's going on? I'm official. I get an earpiece. You have an earpiece in so you can hear the commands. Yes, I can. I'm nervous. Yeah. No one said anything yet on air, so you yes. just wait for that. Yes. It'll just come and you'll have to you'll just have to talk through it. So I feel like I have gone from amateur status. I've been doing this mm -hmm. for three years now. I'm going from amateur status to professional. Yeah, you actually are connected to five other people in the building oh right stars. now on the earpieces. So we're very excited. Uh, we're very excited for you. So if I start talking really loud, I'm going to need you to give me a signal. I love how it feels like odd. They're being they're being have, as my mom would say, yeah. upstairs. Okay. So we haven't heard anything yet. Okay. So Monday, where were you? Did you enjoy your uh, day off? Yeah, of work. I, are you, I are you your real job? I'm sorry. September is like has been like June, July, and August all wrapped really? up in one. I'm sure your wife is feeling the same thing. I mean, yeah. I am working from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. all mm -hmm. night, every night. So actually the reprieve Monday, although I missed everybody, and I love getting messages like, mm -hmm. where are you in Andy? Yeah. I love it. Jan, you know, I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah. Um, That's right. But uh, what were you doing on I Monday? was golfing. I was playing golfing. May I say something? Yes. You were talking a lot quieter because you have the earpiece in your ear. Well, I feel like I'm screaming. You're, you're not. Okay. okay. So yep. should I speak up? You, yep, just do your normal Okay, thing. let's do it. So I saw you brought the Stanley. Well, I was golfing. Wait, on the... stop. Golfing. Golfing where? Well, I was golfing. I played at Battle Creek Country Club. It was a fine day. So. And did they invite you to join the tour? They did not invite me. You uh, mm. have to be better than I am. Oh, did I you know. have fun? I had a lot of fun. So it was fun. It was a good day off. So. Awesome. I've asked you to bring the Stanley in. Yes. And I'm surprised you don't know the Stanley trick. Take the straw out. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, holy smokes. This might get rid of my smoker's lines and I don't even smoke. <laughs> Speaking of smoking, someone left a pack of Newport non-menthol cigarettes in our building yesterday. I hadn't seen, I, did you see those? I was walking around trying to pass them out. I, I don't know, we don't know whose they are. Wait. They showed up around 11 o'clock. Cool. And uh, yeah, do we have those cigarettes? I think um, they're on the counter. I feel like we could easily do a DNA test <laughs> and find out who they belong well, to. Well, no, it's almost a full pack. So I've, you know, I've reached out to a few of the people I know that may have had those. Do you know how much a pack of cigarettes costs right now? I know it's over eleven dollars. Someone That's told insane. me. I know. I That's know. nuts. It's crazy. Not worth it. Crazy. Um, yesterday, I. First of all, you're not the same with the earpiece in. I, I don't feel the same. Yeah, we're gonna have, have to. to do you guys want to say something in the earpiece real quick, kind of get, uh, get, get Jen uh, warmed up a little bit? There we go. So, okay, you did what yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I had my annual physical. Oh, and did you tell them how much diet coke you consume? I didn't tell them that, but let me tell you what did happen. So, <laughs> well, that was nice of you to send the actual picture. So, they weighed me, but asked me my height. I was thinking, <gasps> why don't you measure my height yeah. and ask me my weight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I I was I was fine. Oh, Andy, but you're I was perfect. fine. I maybe five pounds. I could like oh, I could lose maybe five pounds. Just like what? just like just like everybody. So I was thinking, I had full clothes on, shoes, phone, and I'm like, well, what does that take off? <laughs> what you, I looked. Did it you up. weigh again? No, but I looked it up. What like what you can take off based on clothes. Okay. So for men, what do you think it is? Including like phone and shoes? Just subtract what due to clothes? Four pounds. 2.5. Okay. And women? 1.5. Two pounds. Two pounds. Two okay. Pounds. I was thinking it'd be like five to seven. Well, oh, my phone is heavy. That's what I was thinking. But you're funny. That's the difference between men and women. Like women take off everything that they are allowed to take off before they step on the scale sure. at the doctor's office. And then sometimes we even put our hand on the wall because really? it reduces the I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. But I just thought it was funny. It was like, well, how tall are you? I'm like, oh, well, yeah. ask me how much I weigh. I guarantee it's going to be different <laughs> yeah, than what the yeah, scale yeah. says. So. Oh. Oh. You watch any good true crime lately? I haven't seen a lot. Uh, the other day we talked about um, the making a murderer. Mm. There's going to be a documentary that's like, uh, talking about how Netflix got the whole thing wrong. Ooh, so I might wait, watch that. A documentary about a documentary? Yes. Oh. A documentary about a documentary. Oh. Yeah. So, Sign me up. I know. So it sounds cool. How about you? I'm reading a really stressful book. Really? Lessons in Chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah. I mean, it's a novel. Okay. But it's about these scientists. And really? It was highly recommended to me by a client of, and dear friend of mine who I adore, but man, it's heavy. Really? Yes. Interesting. 
Interesting. That doesn't sound like a book you'd normally read. No. Well, I like a little, I like depth, but yeah. I don't, like, I've stopped watching any television that stresses me out. Yeah, I and do too. Like, uh, you know, the, the one show that I, I don't like, um, Grey's Anatomy, because they put you through this, like, torturous thing, like, hey, here's the worst thing that could yeah. ever happen to anybody's life. Now go yeah. to bed and then sleep well. Yeah, well, that show is still on. Isn't it? I don't know. I believe it is. I My friend know. Kelly still watches it. Really? I believe. Yeah. Jeez. She's a diehard. That's crazy. Very loyal. Loyal um, girl. I saw you last night for a few minutes at, uh, I think it was a volleyball game we were at. A couple of volleyball games. Yeah. Did your team lose? Yes. All three. And our girl, I mean, I, Marshall was awesome. They always are. They got us last year too. Mm. They are, you know, they're good competitors. Mm -hmm. So we're excited for tonight though. We're taking on the Western oh, the Panthers. Western Panthers, yes. yes. Be over there. We're spend coming my, for you. Spend my $3 and uh, I love the concession stands. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the volleyball games. Claire said, I need money. I said, okay, here's $10 and mm. get me a water and a popcorn. She said, I'm going to need more money. No, no, no. She comes back. I gave her five more. Mm -hmm. She comes back. Hot dog, Twix, Skittles, popcorn, no water. Oh, and a Gatorade, mm -hmm. but not my water. And no change. I bring my own I bring my own Diet Coke, obviously, because it's not available. I had peanut M&Ms and popcorn. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was a very nice snack. Yeah. Very nice snack. Uh, today's a beautiful day. It's going to be mostly cloudy, but I don't see any rain. Let's go out to Tina. Good morning, JTV. It's Tina again from Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Just coming to tell you that it's going to be a beautiful day today, so get outside. It's a great day to get outside. There's so much going on downtown. There I is. love seeing one. I love fighting for a parking space downtown. But on days like this, everybody wants to walk downtown, shop, dine yeah. outside. Today's a perfect day for that. Should be a beautiful day. I went to yes. uh, Veritas last night. We had some family in town oh, after nice. the volleyball. Yeah, my uh, cousin's husband John and his dad were in town, so we went across the street to Veritas. Nice. Yeah. What'd you get? I got, no, I mixed it up, and I think it's the best meal I've had there. Ooh. Blackened walleye with garlic rice and french fries. Oh, the garlic rice and french fries. Yeah, no, a couple other people looked at me like that. That's a I carb ordered. load. Is that okay? Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Well, you know, I just had my physical earlier in the day. Yeah, and you're fine. Yeah, everything's fine. That was nice of the lady um, behind you I was, to be in the picture. Yeah, she just stopped there. She was playing Pokemon Go. Oh, yes. That's and so much fun. Yeah, so we had a wonderful time, and... Uh, yeah, it was great. Well, I got to tell you, I wa uh, so Andy's daughter's in seventh grade and my oldest is in eighth grade. And, and, and when they're playing volleyball, they're mm -hmm. playing next to each other. And so it's, I can't watch all of Ella or I of can't course. see Katie. But every time I looked over, A, Ella's just a natural born athlete and she has a great coach and life, coaches mm -hmm. and life. Um, she did so great. But the best thing I liked about it was her sportsmanship. Because I saw some of the other girls be like, <laughs> she's pretty But she positive. was like, hey, good shot, good shot, good try. She I was is, really proud yeah. of her. And, and on the way good home, job. it took every ounce of energy for me not to yell at her about that. Why? Because you just, you you lost. And you're giving up all these points. Like, let's, I appreciate that. Well, having a bad attitude isn't going to give I, them no, points. No, not having a bad attitude. Wow. Just like, let's pick our celebration times you know we're down 20 to 5 and then all of a sudden yeah well they're in seventh grade they're learning a sport for the okay. first time right. it's got to be fun or they're not going to do it i was it. talking to uh, coach vermulen and uh him and i are thinking about running a summer camp oh yeah you should um katie did that nike camp at adrian college how was that she loved very it very nice she definitely has improvements since then awesome. we're even playing winter volleyball oh wow well, that's a yeah. serious commitment that's I, happened. I don't know if uh we're there yet we're well not. if you want to get there We'll see. So this weekend's kind of quiet, but next weekend there's so much going on. Of course, we have the ORS Oktoberfest, uh, 10K, 5K. We'll have the Superhero Kids Run, the K1053 Fall Fest, the Beer Mile. And we had uh, folks from Grand River on yesterday. I think you drink like four beers what? during that race. Oh, that sounds like the kind of race. And it's only a mile. We could totally do that. I don't that. think I can do it. Yes, you could. I don't think I can drink that much beer. Oh, it, that, yeah, that would probably be the... up some foam or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming it would be a really light beer. Like. Well, it's the Polish lager, the 313. Oh, okay. But it's fun, it's fun to do. Will you uh, and the brokerage house be down this weekend? So this weekend, actually, the Brokerage House team me. is running a, doing a 5K okay. on Sunday really? out at Ellishar. Yep. Um, next weekend, yes, we are actually... Is that actually, the Big Brothers one? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yep. Um, next weekend, yeah, we'll be down here. We're going to um, be cooking up chili. And mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be hosting the VIP experience again for all the sponsors. Very nice. Yeah, so That'll those details are kind of, some things changed yesterday. Okay. Uh, so Am I invited? You are. Wow. And I'll let you know Monday okay. more specific about the details. So. Okay. Who's cooking your chili this year? Um, probably will be Darren again because I'm scared to death to do that. I, yeah. I know you weren't a fan of the turkey chili, but are you judging again? No, I haven't been asked and I don't think I, I if I do get asked, I might turn it down. Yeah. Because just because I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Still from it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, Darren, is he a chef? He's a really good cook. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he has a lot of experience yeah. in um, I think it's hard cooking, cooking in these big pots, right? You're used to cooking at home. Well, by the end of the day, everything is burnt on the bottom yeah. and you just have to kind of, you have to keep it moving all the time. There's a whole science to it. But the scary mm -hmm. part for me was the health inspection Ooh. inspect or, or yeah. health department inspection. And Darren was like, yeah, no big deal. I've got everything mm -hmm. at perfect temperature. I yeah. mean, mine would probably be like salmonella ridden. So yeah. I don't think I should be allowed to do that. <laughs> no, goodness, no. Um, so yeah, so sign up for uh, sign up for all those events again. The uh, kids superhero run and October Fest week uh, week five of high school football already. It's crazy. It's homecoming at a bunch of schools. We'll be at Lumen Christie's homecoming, Dearborn Divine Child at Lumen. Live coverage starts at six forty five. Should be a uh, good game on the replay ten o'clock. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Should be a great game. Uh, looking forward to it. What was your favorite um, homecoming week activity when you were a kid? No, and, and to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you. No? It was, I was not paying attention to it. No? Whatsoever. I don't think it was as spirity okay. as it is right now. Okay. Where you just are out of uniform every single day. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't remember much of it. What were the seventh graders today? What was their age group? Dressed like a teenager. Just like a te oh, it must have been the whole middle school, is that? Cause yeah, dressed like a, just like a teenager. So, and my daughter's not a teenager, so we we struggled. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we struggled. Um, Ella Sharp has a patio party. One more, and it is September twenty eighth. Experience the past like never before. I'm not sure what this one is. It might be the eighties. Back to the Back 80s. Back to the 80s, so. it is. Who's your favorite 80s? Who's your, who's your band? Like, if you could... Oh, I who mean, was, well... White Snake, obviously. It well, I mean, I still kind of have White Snake Def here. Def Leppard? Liked Def Leppard. <laughs> I mean, it was the 80s. I mean, and I was a girl. Madonna was, like, yeah. all the rage. Um, my wife loved actually, Wham. My wife went to a Madonna concert <gasps> when she was, like, seven with her mom. Stop it. Yeah. Coolest mom um, Ever. Yeah, it seems crazy to do that. Though. My gosh. You know what? It just reminded me, speaking of this weekend and things to do, the last um, car show is this weekend. Yes, it too. is. It's yes. Friday night. So, and uh, we'll be down, the Brokerage House will cool. be down with their booth. So, come oh, on down. Awesome. Yeah, JTV will be uh, out and about as well. Should be a beautiful night. We got Elephant Ears, the Munchie Connection, Iceman Concessions. Iceman, he delivers Big guy the goods. Catering, Tiki Sam's Pizza, Dallenberger, Craveable Freddy's Food Hut. Is that the one that has the walking tacos? I'm not sure and the Knights of Columbus. So get down here for the last one of the season. The weather's gonna be fantastic. It should be so nice. It should be awesome. Hydrant flushing starts Monday. Do you have hydrants in Brooklyn? Yeah. In Brooklyn, but not in Columbia Township. Okay. We literally have what are called um, dry hydrants on really? the lake. So okay. they can just like Plug into hook the lake. up to the lake. Yeah, cool. yeah I, uh, I always like to uh, drink out of the fountain and drive as <laughs> fast as I can through. Brandon, this is always a fun time in your neighborhood. All the kids go out and play in the street. Well, and they should be able to. I think it's going to be warm yeah, for the next couple fun. of weeks. So uh, but be, be careful as you are driving. You don't want to hydroplane your vehicle, True. Uh, of course. So, uh, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You know when people are on like social media and they put like photo dump? Yes. On them, they, yeah. What do you think of that? I can only look at three or four pictures max. So if you put on a dump, a, you said the word dump, so I'm assuming it's not very important. And B, I'm not going to go through all your pictures. Just because you say photo dump doesn't mean it's okay to post them. Then. Right. Yeah. Do you agree with Agreed. that? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Photo I, dump. I guess photo I dump. I Thursday don't. morning show, 100 pictures. Yeah. I mean, right. come on. People will hate you yeah. and me. You know my other one that I don't love? And I, I get it. If you need prayer, ask for prayer. But I like to be very specific. Oh, with the my prayer. ambiguous prayer request. The ambiguous prayer request. Oh, yeah. don't get me started. Because my mind immediately goes to, oh my God, something 
horrible is going on. And maybe it is, but I just... I need prayers. Don't ask. I'm not going to tell yeah. you, but I need these prayers if and you, I need them now. If you want me involved, I'm going to need some details. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We are going to need all the details on the prayers. Okay. Uh, it's time now for our Extreme Dodge scoreboard brought to you by our friends over at Extreme. And I would like to take a quick moment to thank the production staff upstairs for behaving during the open of the show tonight. <laughs> Boys soccer, Jonesville beat Michigan Center 3-2, Columbia Central tied with Leslie 1-1, Manchester over GL 3-0, and Jackson beat Tecumseh 4-0. Girls golf, Columbia Central first place again. Shocker. Nice. Columbia nice. wins everything. Uh, they win every golf match. They're very, very good. Uh, Michigan Center finished second at that Jamboree College sporting event. Spring Arbor beat Madonna 3-0. Jackson College beat Ancilla 3-0. Men's soccer, uh, Spring Arbor beat Siena 2-0. And then JC Men beat Ancilla 7-0. Where's Ancilla? I, would I think it's in like Indiana or Ohio somewhere. Okay. Indiana. Indiana. Oh, good. You didn't know that. <laughs> Jeez. So, Andy, you're not as smart as I thought you were because <laughs> I really thought things just came I to you as we sit. We've got I like... What you didn't understand is I said Ohio or Indiana, and then in the earpiece they, they said Indiana. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually am as smart as I look. Uh huh. This changes everything. This does change everything. Yeah. So, I hope at some point you repeat what they say. <laughs> so, here's all the stuff coming up uh, on deck. Of course, not mention the middle school volleyball games that we will be attending. Yes. Uh, full highlights and recap on Monday's show from that. So. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. We got a great show coming up. We're going to get things started with Dr. Todd Butler from Jackson College right after this break. Serving the greater Jackson area for over 25 years, Tamrock's Automotive knows that your life does not come to a halt because of a concern with your vehicle. Our mission is to provide extraordinary service for every customer, every time. We offer pickup and drop off service, free loaner vehicles, free car wash, and a three year, 36,000 mile nationwide warranty on most repairs. And yes, your vehicle will be diagnosed on the same day of your appointment. Our extensive health and safety inspections, our professional technicians, and state of the art technology will ensure that you know the current condition of your vehicle. You can make an informed decision on the repairs made to your car or truck. When your ride is at a standstill, but your life is not, take it to Tamrocks. Automotive repair you can count on. MVP Sports has been providing the Jackson area with the finest custom apparel and select promotional items since 2006. We can take your corporate event, employee appreciation day, or golf outing to the next level with expertly crafted shirts, hats, jackets, coolers, and even golf bags. As always, you can count on MVP for all your sports and school apparel too. No matter what your needs, MVP Sports has the equipment, knowledge, and expertise to make sure every order comes out just right. Whether it's embroidery or screen print, with outstanding customer service and design services, we make outfitting your crew or team a breeze. Stop in today and let's turn your ideas into reality. MVP Sports Store, 5000 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. I'm miles beyond my knee injury. I am Henry. I use science to help families grow. I am Henry. I'm a new mom with brand new lungs. I am Henry. I made sure that the cancer in my chest never got to my heart. I am Henry. I'm Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all around conqueror, you found your Henry. Within the folds of your life, you find the passion and drive to keep pushing forward. Growth comes from continually moving ahead in every stage of life. Count on County National Bank to help with seamless financial solutions. We can act quickly and accommodate your needs, whatever life brings your way. Our local bankers understand our community and your goals. Let's work together. Learn more about our personalized banking services at cnbb.bank, member FDIC. 
Whatever you have planned Saturday, September 30th, cancel it. And instead, join us for the third annual Fall Fest and Chili Classic in downtown Jackson. Live entertainment on two stages, the return of the Kids Kingdom, even more vendors than years past, and of course, the Chili Classic. New this year is the ORS Oktoberfest Run Walk, while Chili contestants prepare their recipes. Fall into autumn with K105.3 and enjoy all that downtown Jackson has to offer. For up-to-date details as they become available, visit K1053.com slash fallfest. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. Our show today brought to you by the Tecumseh Center for the Arts. Visit the Tecumseh Center for the Arts. They have wonderful shows, uh, tons going on. Check them out. Beautiful place in downtown Tecumseh. The Grand River Farmers Market is open Friday and Saturday, 9 to 2 o'clock. And uh, stop by, 9 to 2. June through, through, through October, uh, right? Yeah, through October. Um, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Start it out at the Grand River Farmer's Market. Awesome. Well, we leave every morning show wiser than we were when we came in. This and, is true. And today we're going to be extraordinarily wiser because we have Dr. Todd Butler, the Dean of Humanities and Sciences at Jackson College. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Good yeah. morning. We're so glad that you're here. What is going on out of college? Oh, it's a ton going on, a uh, ton going on. But the, the ribbon cutting uh, more than a week ago at the Astronomical Observatory was, mm -hmm. I means one of a kind. This it, is one of a kind. It, I was uh, really taken aback by uh, just the entire facility. And then when we got to hear from the uh, company uh, that did a lot of the work, really about 80 of these across the world. Wow. Talk about what you have on campus. Yeah, it is extraordinary. And it does start with our, our, our partners and friends at Plain Wave. Uh, and, it, and I think it merits just a little bit of discussion from them. So they were uh, a group of guys in a community college, and I think he mentioned that at the ribbon yeah, cutting. in California, yeah. Just, yeah, little community college, and he uh, got fascinated. They talked uh, to some instructors uh, to try to offer a course in astronomy, uh, and then a course in building a telescope. And these guys just seized the opportunity, went on with their love, followed their passion, and then moved their entire operation from California to Adrian, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's right across the road from our campus in Lenawee County in My Adrian. Gosh. And uh, we've gotten to know them, we've partnered with them, we've taken tours, they've uh, welcomed our students there. Uh, and in fact, we teach a class uh, partly on their campus uh, on astronomy. And then they supply the materials and our students build their own telescope wow. while taking this astronomy class. So it's, amazing. It, it's just been a great partnership uh, starting off uh, with them and these world-class telescopes that they make right here in Michigan. Yeah. How did the project come to be in the, in the first place? Uh, like a lot of things, it starts in our president's mind. That's right. Uh, so he had an idea and he had a vision. And then uh, through the generosity really of Senator Gary Peters, our U.S. Mm. Senator, uh, we were able to um, get the nod from him that we should apply for a grant. And Julie Hand and our foundation wrote a fantastic grant, she and her team. We were able to secure oh. that, that earmark and funding from Senator Peters. And that really launched the project and got us moving in that direction. So, so how do the students best get to utilize this new technology? Well, right now they're not, uh, even though we've have, uh, had a ribbon cutting. We've known for some months because of uh, really logistics and delays in getting parts mm -hmm. and things in. Uh, that we were we weren't going to be up and running until at least October. Okay. So we're not uh, we're not there yet, uh, but we suspect this astronomy course that we're offering in Adrian right now, where they're building their own telescopes, uh, that is in Lenawee County. I don't know if we will be able to bring them in uh, to this facility this fall, uh, but we're going to run that course now on central campus as well. Nice. So students in physics courses, in natural science courses, and certainly in the astronomy courses are going to be having access to that. Um, right now we have two positions uh, that we're searching for at the college, both that relate to the uh, astronomy directly, the, astro uh, the astronomical observatory directly. Uh, one is for a coordinator and outreach person. So this mm -hmm. means that not just our students are going to have connection to this, but people in the community. Mm -hmm. And then the wider research community wants access to this. And, and really, I was very naive about this. They, they don't come to our campus. Uh, <laughs> they give us uh, what they're searching for. We program all of that in, and uh, then the, the observatory itself has a weather station. Okay. The weather station says, is it safe to open? Is it clear skies? 
And if it tells, uh, tells it it is, then the dome opens oh. up, ah. the telescope finds the coordinates that the researcher wants. Ah. It might be at three in the morning. They might record from three in the morning to five in the morning, ah. captures those things, downloads it to us and then to the researcher. And um, that's one way of impacting the wider research community. Uh, but our students, and we certainly want to reach out to uh, dark sky groups, observatory groups uh, in, in our community and in our state uh, to come in and do this. We're looking at running uh, what's called sky camps in the summer mm -hmm. uh, for our youth and involving them there. So the president's been very clear. Uh, first priority is our students, second is our community, and third is the research community. And we see being able to serve all of those communities really well. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, maybe some of the design, the automatic closure, the red lights. Uh, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of nuances to this site that the general public would not have any clue about. <laughs> I don't know that I have any clue about it, Andy. It is, uh, it, it is rocket science, yeah. I think. Uh, it is pretty high stuff. So again, our folks from Plane Wave, our friends there, uh, put us in touch with an organization called Sea West. And Sea West was able to come in, the domes you're looking at, the interior, uh, all of the motors and controls on there uh, that, um, that I walked in with a Diet everything. Coke. I was nervous. I walked oh right back out. I yeah. said, I should Thank not you. have Thank the you. No, yeah. you should not no be allowed to go in there. What am I doing? There. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it was, it was really their, their full amazing. design. And then uh, Jim Jones from our facilities and Doug Yenner from uh, IT were able to coordinate all of these. It's not just the red lights around that area, but think about the lighting on campus. So when, right before we use this telescope, we have to have a system that shuts off the, not shuts off, or downplays the lighting right around mm -hmm. that facility. And you remember there's a water tower, right? Yes. Uh, which really important has to have lights on it, right? Mm -hmm. for, for airplanes and such. So we've got to coordinate all of that. How do we keep the air traffic safe uh, while um, darkening the campus right around the observatory so that we can see what we need to see that are millions and millions yeah. of miles away in the shows that are going on out there. Yeah. Yeah, the intricacies are mm -hmm. mind-blowing. What do you think's out there? About those things. What do you think's out there? <sighs> what do you think's out there? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. I'm a theologian, not a scientist. I was going <laughs> to so. say, I'm very curious what a theologian would think about yeah. that. Well, in theology, we always say that it's up to science uh, to answer yeah. the, the how question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, theologians are asking the why question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. A why why do we exist? And, and who created us and what's here for. But uh, that's a different question than, mm -hmm. the, than the scientists are yeah. looking for. And we don't see any opposition among those two, of course. I so. think, uh, you know, just big picture community-wise, the fact that students uh, will be able to have access to this uh, cutting edge equipment right here in Jackson. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. I, I, mean, I don't expect you to have the numbers on hand, but with all the changes, even in the last decade that Jackson College has undergone, with the dorms and the programs and the sports teams and, and something like this incredible observatory, I mean, is it, how is it for you to watch the campus grow and just evolve? For, for me, I think what is, it's always surprising to me, it's always shocking to me. Um, that we, you know, we live in that environment, we walk around. Uh, there's an old saying that we don't know who discovered water, but we can pretty, pretty sure it wasn't a fish. No. <laughs> so we live there every day. We yeah. see this, we do it. But people come onto the campus and they just stop and they're, what, what? Like, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these are people from our community who mm -hmm. are lifelong residents. And I haven't been out here in 25 years. And uh, when did this place become like this? And it, so for us, it feels like a, a slow evolution. Um, but for other folks, it, it can, it's really jarring. Like, I had no idea that this is what your campus was like. These were the facilities you have, and these are all the opportunities uh, for students in the community to engage in. Well, and I was talking to a faculty member that mentioned that she has students come from all over the place, and oh, she yeah. finds them, uh, if they're doing specific coursework, she finds them temporary housing. And it's exciting to think that we're becoming yes. an education mm -hmm. destination outside of just Jackson County. Yeah, I was on a train back from Chicago a while back, and it was late night arrival. We got in from a conference, and uh, a couple got off the train, and they looked lost. And I said, mm. can I help you? And they said, uh, we need an Uber. And I'm thinking, <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's going to happen, but yeah. where are you headed? And she was coming in for temporary studying to Jackson College oh, wow. uh, from uh, out of state. And yeah. I said, oh, I know exactly the program, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we could try to figure out how to get you to campus. So, yeah. Did you give them a ride? 
Uh, we didn't. We did <laughs> actually did find a taxi. Oh, good. I couldn't believe nice. it. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. That's funny. So you mentioned you were at the volleyball game last night that we were at. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. You yeah. have one playing? I have a daughter uh, in the eighth grade, okay. and uh, she's very excited, and I yeah. thought she did a great job. Yeah. yeah. It's a fun sport to watch. It I'm is, learning. isn't it? It is fun, yeah. It's, I think it's low pressure for the parents. I a think. little pressure? Low pressure. Low pressure. You no. just go watch. No, every time that ball comes toward Katie, I can't breathe. And well, God forbid if she serves. Oh, that's <laughs> that's where I lose my mind <laughs> during the serve. And uh, as a, as sev probably when your kids were in seventh grade, it was a little tougher to watch yeah. the serving part. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. It is, but it is. Yeah. It's a lot. It's it's a real privilege to watch them play. Yeah, isn't it's it? fun. Yeah. So and fun. I think like Katie, it's just watching them how much they've grown. Yes. Yeah. And how much work they put yeah. into it. And yeah. Seeing, okay, you you have really improved and. Mm -hmm. And who knows if you want to put the work in, what's possible? Yeah, it's yeah. fun watching the kids have fun together doing what they yeah. love. Yeah, for it sure. is. It so. is. Well, so uh, so nice having you here, and uh, congratulations on all the success out at the college. We look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, leave the Diet Coke at home. We'll invite you back in. You anytime. got it. I Can will I do come that. this time? Please. Absolutely. Please. I'm coming Awesome. Next time. Thank you so much. Dr. Todd Butler from Jackson College. More of the morning show right after this quick break. As far as recommending Dr. Bogue and community hearing, I would do so without question, without hesitation. I've had other hearing aid providers and the hearing isn't quite there, but Dr. Kelly's been able to really make some serious, significant improvements um, and adjustments to really improve my hearing. She's really, really good at what she does. She knows what you're talking about instantly. So it's easy to explain something to her, even if it doesn't make sense to yourself. She makes me feel that she's interested and uh, that she is genuinely concerned about the issue. And uh, she makes you feel comfortable and uh, confident uh, that she knows what she's doing. She takes all the time that you need to properly fit a set of hearing aids. They're a very professional organization and I would recommend them to anybody. And actually I have recommended them to three or four people. I have no regrets at all about coming here. I know pain. The one that starts at your ankles, settling in your back, keeping you from competing. Sydney, 2000. Preparing to compete, my leg wouldn't move. My dream interrupted. The team chiropractor knew exactly what to do. I went from out of the game to in competition in three days. Today, I am a chiropractor. Relieving the pain, enhancing performance. Go to beyondthepain.org to find a chiropractor or learn how to become one. To perform your best, high school athletes and their families can receive a complimentary consultation by visiting docpen.com. With all my other bills, what am I going to do when something else breaks down? My stove? My furnace? My plumbing? America's Preferred Home Warranty is here for you. When a major home system or appliance fails, our award-winning customer service can help you protect your investment and your wallet. Call APHW now. Life can be a whirlwind of responsibilities, leaving little time for what truly matters, quality family time. With Keeping It Clean, your trusted residential cleaning partner, our dedicated team will work tirelessly to ensure your home is clean so you don't have to lift a finger. We give you back the precious gift of time, more moments for laughter, and time to cherish memories with your loved ones. Call us at 517-990-5772 to book your cleaning today. Keeping It Clean, a clean home for a happy family. Five stars all rise for To Kill a Mockingbird, unmissable and unforgettable. A mockingbird for our moment, beautiful, elegiac, satisfying, even exhilarating, a New York Times critic's pick. Mockingbird is now the most successful American play in Broadway history. All rise for Aaron Sorkin's great play. Richard Thomas is Atticus Finch in Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. Coming to Wharton Center October 3rd through the 8th. Tickets on sale now at whartoncenter.com or 1-800-WHARTON. Our show today is brought to you by the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill. They're located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road. Give them a call. They have tons of banquet space available. 
live music and a brunch and Bloody Mary bar on Sundays, the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill. Coming up on September 30th, the Cascades Humane Society has the Unleash Your Heart Gala, one of their big fundraisers of the year, including a silent live and virtual auction, dinner cash bar, and live music presented by Omni. Tickets available at chspets.org. It's now time to talk fraud and from the fraud fighting department <laughs> at American One, Angela Hadley and Colin Martin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you bring your capes? I know, we need <laughs> one. Fighting fraud. We do. We have a little logo with the cape and it's, mm -hmm. it's very cool. Yes, the I superhero. think since the last time you were here, the last fraud item that I've seen is like the U USPS text message that people oh, yeah. were getting about a package, yes. right? Yeah. And everyone likes to get a package, yes. don't they? Exactly, mm -hmm. so. yep. And you don't even think, maybe, maybe I have something, right? right? You know, we all have these online shopping addictions. Yeah. Yes. You're like, maybe that's me, <laughs> yeah. even though you don't actually have something coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are really prevalent, it's unfortunate. What are other things that our viewers can be on the lookout for to protect their their lives, their yeah. identity, yeah. and their assets. Yeah, so we want to talk a little bit today about IRS scams. You know, we're rolling into that season. Okay. I know we don't want to talk about winter, oh. right, and mm. snow, all that stuff, but it's it's coming. So we want to be aware of that and then all the things that come with that, right? Anytime there's a financial gain to be had by the fraudsters, they're going to attack that mm -hmm. and they're going to do it heavily. So uh, with IRS scams in general, they're looking to, you know, steal your information and maybe file fraudulent tax returns is a really big one. Mm. Um, the IRS actually notified last year that one of the big smishing scams, which is those text message scams, mm -hmm. goes to the actual uh, tax preparer <gasps> and they hope they click on the link. And then of course, oh with your gosh. tax preparer, that's hundreds of people's information wow. that could be compromised. Mm. So they were sending out an alert to let people know about that so yeah lots of different ways that they try to kind of work their way in and, and find those avenues so yes um, so just as a sidebar the IRS will never text you Exactly. They will they never call, email will you. Will they call you? Yeah. So there are times, of course, right, where taxes are owed and there maybe needs to be some work that goes into working with the IRS. But generally, it's going to be right a certified letter at first. Yep. You're going to get that communication. Then it maybe goes to a phone mm -hmm. call, but they're going to give you those legitimate cues of you know, their tax ID number, things like that. Exactly to your point. It's never going to be text message. It's yeah. social media. Never going to be social media. Yep. Payments are never going to come through a uh, gift card, right? You don't pay right. the IRS right. with gift card. But unfortunately, that's how these fraudsters want to oh. be paid or cryptocurrency even, mm. you know? So just think about kind of the channel that they're communicating through and then what they're asking for and okay. really step back from that. Um, don't mm -hmm. let them use fear tactics, right? The IRS is never going to use those fear tactics on you okay, to, to try to, to, try to yeah. attack, right? And, and always you can call and, you know, find out from you guys, of course, first, right? Like, Absolutely. Is this legit? Yeah, it's always good to have those conversations um, with somebody that you trust, right? And make sure that that's legitimate uh, before you take any action. Okay. So if we, uh, we, we are worried about the IRS, all right, we're not going to listen to them unless it's the real IRS. We're not right. going to listen to the fraudsters. We don't want them taking our retirement. Let's talk retirement. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. talk let's retirement. Let's talk retirement. Okay, yes. that's, that's something everyone's thinking about, right? What's Hopefully. The what's the best way to maximize? Let's start with 401k. Yeah, so um, when you're looking at your 401k and you're looking at your personal contribution, uh, a lot of people don't understand too, it's, it's not just your contribution that goes into that. Right. Your employer normally will match up to a certain percent. So if I'm looking at my paycheck and I'm wanting to contribute, say, 6%, I contribute that 6% and my employer will match up to say that 6%. So then when I'm looking at my wage or my benefits with my employer, that's an additional wage that you're not gonna be taking right. advantage of if you're not putting into your 401k. Yeah. So really starting this early so it can have time to mature and grow mm -hmm. um, is a really good way to maximize that and definitely take advantage of how much your employer is going to contribute to it as well. Yeah, I've heard of some people, it's um, a race to see how quickly you can max it out uh, oh, yeah. earlier it's in the year, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. So. How about some other retirement uh, account options? Um, maybe 401k isn't an option uh, for you? Yeah, so there's IRAs as well. Uh, so there's traditional and Roth, depending on what you're wanting to do. Um, traditional is going to be your... Um, your, your taxes are going to be paid at the end, mm -hmm. right? So you put it in pre-tax, um, and then you're going to be pilling it out. But when you pull it out, you're going to get taxed on that at the right. tax rate at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're looking at a Roth, a Roth is going to be after taxes. So if you're thinking, you know, tax rates now are going to be a lot lower than maybe they will be later, yeah. 
it might be better off to put it into a Roth because you're going to be paying the taxes right now as opposed to hmm. in the future when tax rates may be a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, it's all based on your personal opinion of what you want to do. Um, both are good options, but there are also retirement funds that you can start drawing off of when you hit that retirement age. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I noticed American One was busy with the car sale recently. Yeah. I would love to hear some statistics on that, like how many cars move and all of that. Mm. So you've got a sale coming up again this fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After that, I want to hear stats. All right. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. We'll get them. Yeah, they do. They move people. It's so crazy. Members will wait for our car sales. Oh, yeah. You know, they they're, yeah. they're so well known in our community. Yeah. And they will say, nope, I'm waiting for you know the car sale, or I gotta buy in spring because mm -hmm. you know if it's rolling around. So they really know it they're comfortable it's of course local dealers so bringing that together makes it so easy yeah. where you don't have to be driving all over the place and figuring out all those logistics yeah. you're just right there and you can go all the way from being a non-member to financing yeah. getting your account opened all right there at the sale it's pretty awesome yeah. oh, that is and awesome. the food trucks they brought in the oh, last yeah. few years that's my favorite awesome. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah it's good stuff yeah, yeah. There's, there's it's interesting every time you guys are on there's there's so many scams out there and there's just so many you really need to help your neighbors out out too, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, there's just so many, so many things people can get taken advantage of. Right. Some of the mail you get nowadays, oh, yeah. very yeah. confusing. Yeah. Or even mailing things, you know, you have to be careful of mail theft. That's right. really prevalent. Um, the Postal Service has issued alerts about that. Mm. And so I always try to use channels where maybe that information can't be compromised. Mm -hmm. I do my bill pay through my online banking. Okay. So yeah. for businesses using like positive pay, so you're not mailing checks out because right. it's just so easy for them to come scoop them out of your mailbox. And then they've got a lot of information. Mm. If you think yeah. about a check, it's got that full MICR number on yeah. it. Oh, so yeah, um, yeah you got to be careful with that. Yeah. Okay. Has the IRS ever contacted you personally? Our, like our business, yeah. just, you know, we did you did like our AINs or whatever. Like, what, did you talk to someone on the phone? No, 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 yeah. no I've never received a phone call ever yeah. from yeah. the IRS. Yeah. Have you? Or, I get fraud calls all the time. Yeah. Do you uh, tell them who you oh, are? You're, like, you're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Like, no, I get them from, I mean, even from like the police department, right? That will be saying, you know, fake issuing a mm -hmm. warrant for your arrest yeah. right. from your social security number. And it's like, why would you need that information if, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're looking for me? So really knowing the red flags that stand out and yeah. knowing, you know, maybe this doesn't seem right. I yeah. should right. not give them any information yeah. at all. Some of those IRS phone calls, yeah. they'll yeah. threaten you with that. Oh, well, we're yes. gonna come to your work and you're gonna be arrested. And people are terrified, yes. that's yeah. scary. So they act before they can even think. We've even, you know, we've seen in lots of other financial institutions, they'll actually come in on the phone because they want to keep them on the phone and direct them. Oh. Hey, don't tell your, don't mm. tell the teller anything, right? And okay. we'll catch that and say, hey, that's a red flag. And then they'll escalate that to their manager and we get involved. So there's been those real wow. live time Amazing. situations. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Well, I like what you said to keep, um, everybody needs to keep top of mind. IRS will not use fear tactics. Exactly. Yeah. Threats. They that's won't right. contact you through Facebook. No. They won't contact yeah. you through social media no. platforms. Yep. So, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Keep those things in mind. Well, thank right. uh, That's uh, what thank we're here for. Give that education. That's right. yeah. Thank you guys so much. And I know we'll have you guys on closer to the holidays. We're talking about yes. all, all the email and shopping and all those scams and oh, yeah. that's later right. on. So, thank you guys very much. Our fraud thank fighters you. from American One, Colin Martin and Angela Hadley. More of the morning show right after this. It's time to invest in you. At Jackson College, you get the quality education you deserve, surrounded by a community you'll love. Grow your skill set through flexible courses and different learning opportunities. Discover new career paths. Find your passion, all at a price that you can afford. Whether you're a recent high school graduate, continuing your education, or interested in learning something new, Jackson College has the perfect options for you. Jackson College, you belong here. We can't wait to meet you. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. 
Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lot clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. The Green Market at Henry Ford and its many vendors want to thank our wonderful patrons for their many years of support. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon in the lot across Michigan Avenue from Henry Ford Health. The Green Market providing you and your family with healthy, fresh food. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishing. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Uh, I want to take you on a trip. Okay, let's do it. All right, I am going to X play <gasps> with uh, Rachel from Experience Jackson. Let's take a look. Jackson and it's a visit with Experience Jackson from Experience Jackson, Rachel Buchanan, and we're at Axe Play with Shane Stevens in Axe Play. First of all, tell me what is it? Tell us about it. Well, we're an axe throwing venue. Yeah. Um, we're a World Axe Throwing League affiliate. So if you've ever seen axe throwing on um, ESPN around Christmas time, they do the yeah. tournaments. Um, that's that's what we do here. Yeah. So uh, it's it's a hop hopping spot, a lot of parties, a lot of get-togethers. You guys offer quite a bit of different experiences. Talk a little bit about what it's like when uh, people come to Axe Play. So most people can just make a reservation online um, and uh, you know come in on a Friday or Saturday night. Sunday we're open as well. Um, some people walk in. We have walk-ins available most of the time unless we book out, uh, which happens well. A lot of the time it happens. So, and then we do private parties. Uh, so we've had people from. Um, different uh, businesses or organizations or whatever uh, come in. We can cater food from local businesses um, and then we facilitate your, your fun uh, for you. Shane, how did you, uh, you guys come up with the idea? Um, you know, it's, it's very popular, continuingly to gain popularity. There's a lot of uh, leagues uh, that X Throwing is affiliated with, national leagues. Talk about uh, how you guys came up with uh, the idea and wanted to get involved. We didn't come up with anything. Okay. Uh, we follow the like I said, the World Axe Throwing League yeah. rule book. Um, but what happened, we opened um, Epic Escapes uh, mm -hmm. three years before this. That's the escape room across town. Um, we opened uh, that and just had a fun time um, bringing like bigger city stuff to Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, and we were just looking for the next next big thing, the next fun yeah. thing to do. We heard about Axe Throwing, we tried it out, and we were like, this is, this is what we got to do. Yeah, I love that big city stuff to uh, Jackson. Anyone that's gone on vacation, of course, uh, you can find a cool escape room. Uh, not every town, I don't think I've been to a town that has an axe throwing venue. Um, you travel quite a bit across mm -hmm. the state, have you? Well, this is the only place I've actually thrown an okay. axe, so I know it's a popular thing, and why not have this in Jackson? I mean, it belongs here, so it's good. Tell me a little bit about what this can offer to people uh, visiting. Um, 
Weather, it, weather doesn't matter. I mean, you can have a great time. It also, uh, Shane talked about how they incorporate other local businesses. It just seems like a great thing happening. Yeah. Now, when I was here, it was actually a part of like a team building situation. Okay. So it was kind of a competitive coworker kind of thing. I did horribly. Okay. And that's okay. We had walked away. We laughed a lot. We had fun. And so I think it's a great place for like a corporate event um, of that sort. Um, also, just a great date night activity yeah. or if you're coming into town looking to build something around an activity schedule this first then choose your dinner mm -hmm. you know then choose your other activities your other fun things and build it around that we like it because it kind of fits in that adventure category yeah. um and that you know you can kind of feel out when someone's thinking about coming to town what would you like to do oh man i don't know i just want to have fun oh axe play yeah. perfect so. and axe throwing is technically it's an adventure sport yeah, yeah. so that's pretty cool um now is it just for adults? Nope, no. We have um, the youngest uh, person on our leagues right now. Um, is, well, she's 11 now, but she started when she was nine. Um, so she's been throwing axes since she was nine. The, the youngest person we've had to successfully stick the axe in the target was six. Wow, wow, amazing. Talk a little bit about the scoring and kind of how it works. Yeah, so the bullseye, the red dot in the center is six points. You go out from there, each ring is a different uh, number. Uh, but we have, um, World Axe Throwing League trained and certified judges oh, and yeah. coaches that will stand on the lane with you. They do all of the scoring for you. So they get a little rundown at the beginning. Uh, they'll, they'll give you the pointers on the uh, how to throw the axe, on the scoring and all that stuff. Um, and we, we do all of that for oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like a putt-putt where you just grab your own thing and go, which would be you know, hard to do with axe throwing. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your past experience. Do you think you're gonna do better today? I'm hoping so. I mean, that's the goal, right? Getting better and better. Um, I think it also kind of depends on the competition around you <laughs> as well. Um, you know, if, if you feel like you're failing, you're, yeah. you're that much more to kind of push ahead and everything. But yeah, like you said, I didn't know. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. I can't go there. But they definitely take care of you when you yeah. walk in and everything. So you feel kind of confident. It's that, it's that first throw of like, oh my gosh, what yeah. am I doing? And then after that, you just can't stop. Shane, who's the best in town? Um, well, our best league member, his name's Dustin Wellman. He comes from Battle Creek. He drives here every okay. week for, for leagues. He's thrown uh, in the World Championships. Um, and we've got a girl named Leslie who just um, traveled out of town. Uh, I can't remember where it was, but uh, she competed in um, four different disciplines of axe throwing, and she took first place in three of them and, like, wow. third in the other one. So wow. she's pretty – she's a badass woman. So, wow, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Tell me a little bit about the, the bar you guys have. Um, you guys make some cool drinks. Yeah, we have, um, we have a, a, a pretty much a full bar. So we've got um, cocktails. Uh, we have Fresh Goose Fair Style Lemonade. Um, it's our old family recipe that I had to bring uh, to, to the bar. Um, and then um, beer, wine. Uh, we always have a 127 brewery um, on cool. draft. Odd Brothers, Ciders, we always have one of those on draft. Um, and then we make our own cocktails. Um, and we, we test them a lot to make sure that they're really well, good. you have to, yeah. right? Yeah. When, when you meet someone like Shane and a business like X-Play that, that gets it, right, and wants to uh, kind of help grow Jackson and, and partner with other businesses, that has to make your job fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why my husband and I chose to stay here. Mm -hmm. you know, after we graduated from college, we could have moved back home in either direction. We chose to stay here because we love the size of the community. We love the opportunity that's in the Jackson area. And if you want to do something, there's pretty much an open open yeah. notebook for you to fill. And if you're willing to put the work into it, things like this can come out of it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's very cool. And today we're going to throw some axes. So thanks for joining us, Shane Stevens and Rachel Buchanan, on a visit with Experience Jackson. Mm -hmm.
The PICK Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. Ace Roofing is a family owned and operated business that serves superior quality flat roofing and repair services. We have been in business for over 53 years and our premium customer service, high level integrity, and world class workmanship set Ace Roofing apart from other roofers. Over 53 years of experience, professional and informative, trusted among the customers, guaranteed customer satisfaction. Ace Roofing slash Jackson.com or call 517-782-8601. You never think about a good tow truck service until you really need one. Jimmy's Towing and Auto Repair in Jackson will be there for you in a flash. Our technologically advanced GPS software enables us to pinpoint your location and dispatch the closest truck to assist you in no time. Jimmy's has the largest towing and rescue truck fleet in the area, and we have the right equipment for any towing need. When you need help in a flash, call Jimmy's. Jimmy's Towing and Repair in Jackson. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is small. Change is easy. Updating. Smart. A choice. Change is our company. Your company. Together, we can bring clean energy to Michigan and protect the environment for generations to come. Learn about your clean energy choices and how you can become a force of change. ConsumersEnergy.com slash change. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Welcome back to the morning show, on JTV. I'm back to normal. Okay, good, good. We had a we had a little bit of a rough start. You had something in your ear. Yeah, an earpiece. I can't. Uh, you know what? I'm going back to amateur status, and I'm going to stay there. I think. Do you remember when we went to that thing and I got that earwax taken out of my ear? Yeah, that it wasn't earwax. It was like a monster. And you had one. And they left it in there. Well, just she said it was just a little one, way down. It was nothing like <laughs> that one. Why? Well, I don't know. Did you see something in my ear? <laughs> I don't know. No, Maybe help me put in my earpiece. Great. Now I'm going to be self-conscious about my ears. Oh, right? no, I'm just kidding. You know, I, uh, I, my ears have been the same size since I was five years old. The kids used to call me Dumbo <gasps> when I was a kid. I'll kill them, Andy. Yeah, that's my mom. Really? Mm -hmm. look, look how you grew into them. I grew into them. You did. They're not even perfect. that big anymore, are they? No, they're perfect. Good Lord. Um, we've got some great new shows coming up. Um, Brandon and uh, Adrian and the crew of Food Circus, they went down to the Foundry Bakehouse and Deli in Albion and the uh, Mercantile, Superior Street Mercantile, oh, which is cool. the best store. Have you been in the Mercantile? No, but I am That's it worth on my like list. driving out and getting a Diet Coke too. Yeah, I'm serious? I promise you. It's Must so be the nice. Coldest they, second coldest Diet Coke in the land. Second, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, that's coming up. Very cool. We'll also have high school football uh, Western Northwest this weekend along with Lumen Christie and Divine Child. So we've got the uh, rivalry game and uh, you'll be able to see that Saturday and Sunday on JTV. Nice. That's all uh, for the morning show this week. Jennifer, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you Monday. Thank you, Andy. You too. Bye-bye.